everyone, this is Pamper Chew. Uh, today I am fooling around with the scope again, um, but this time I am attempting to generate a uh, waveform that displays composite video. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, I need to create a horizontal and vertical uh, pulse to um, make the image. So this is what you start out with when nothing is on. I'm going to turn on one channel of the computer's audio. I'm going to do the right one. And you can see it going up and down at 4 hertz. Okay, so I have the vertical that needs to be running at um, around 59.97 actually I need the right kind of wave first um, let me slow this down to 1 hertz so it's more visible so this is the 1 hertz signal and it's not exactly the right type of wave for producing an image when you have video so this is a sine wave, and it's completing a rotation of a circle, pretty much. If I change the type of wave to a ramp, it does this. And so here's the, uh, the beam now doing a ramp signal at 1 hertz. And there's the line that it's drawing. Okay, the next part I need to turn on my other channel. I'm going to just turn it on now. So once I have the other um, channel turned on, it draws a line across like this. If I turn on memory, clear it out, turn on the memory. This is the raster. So this is the raster. Now it's being drawn on a storage tube. That's how you're able to see it uh, like a square lit up. Now I could change the uh, the, the um, verticals refresh rate to 59.97. I get this. You can even see the drawn lines almost. The next thing I need to do is increase the frequency of the horizontal or decrease it. Let's see. I need to have it at 15. Point I need to have that at 15.734. So if I go over here and type it in, oh, 15.734 hertz. So there is the image I'm getting. Now, if I turn this camera on, ah, I get a fuzzy image almost. So I turn the camera on, it should be displaying this on the signal. You can see it's close. It's close. If I turn memory on, I should be able to. Ah, it's there, almost there. So there's the image, and it's still rolling a little bit in that direction. That's um, probably not going to be fixable. The sound card does have limitations to exactly what I can tell it to put out, and 
for example, this 59.94, uh, I can't change this last little bit without it. I change that to something else. And it goes to the closest number it can do. This also might be part of the problem, but you can check that by changing it. Oh, well maybe that's... Yeah. See, now it's going in the opposite direction. Focus. So it's somewhere in between those two. Let me try five. That's very close. Alright, I'm in the camera. I'm in the camera. Still not working perfectly. So this is about as good as I can get it. Um, I have the limitations of the computer sound card generating these waves. And uh, pretty much just took these numbers and plugged them into the program, changing the type of wave and ramps and stuff. And uh, in the end, I got a picture, barely a picture. So I think further research needs to be done. Um, but uh, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I was um, gonna record a clip it clip of this audio so you can hear what it sounds like. Put this on correctly. You got your left channel and your right channel.